What's up, Core Reporters? And welcome back to my channel. It looks like Colleen Colleen Ballinger slash Miranda Sings has had the rest of her 2023 tour officially canceled. This news is coming straight out of the Huffington Post today. They're saying when you go to her website and you click through trying to find out um, when you can catch her next, she's got a whole list and everything. Um, you do not see anything pop up because they are canceled. It's currently unclear whether call Colleen's team or whether the actual like theaters teams are the ones who canceled the shows, but that is the state of the situation currently. Let me give you guys an example of that right now. When I go on her Miranda Sings website, just as a reminder, Miranda Sings is the character that shot Colleen to YouTube stardom a couple of years ago when she started sharing her content on the popular video sharing platform. So let's take a look at her Miranda Sings website and the tour date. So the first two you see here are currently claiming to be rescheduled, which makes sense, right? Um, uh, I believe she had announced some illnesses or something like that earlier on. So those were uh, initially rescheduled scheduled for last month and then later on this month slash next week. Um, and then these are the rest of her tour dates that she was um, supposed to have starting from here. So she was supposed to be performing in two days in Idaho, then in Utah, New Mexico, Minnesota, Michigan, Missouri. The list really does go on. So let's take, for example, the one in two days in Boys, Idaho, what happens when I click through her website? Now, mind you, if Colleen's team canceled the rest of her tour, it could be for one of many reasons, right? So the first reason I'm believing could be that she feels a certain sense of embarrassment that all of this information has been um, put out about her and it's really not good, right? To be publicly tarred and feathered and in my opinion, credibly accused as being a groomer and inappropriate with children. Um, it's hard to get up on stage after that and show your face and try to perform to these people that you were accused of being harmful for, right? Um, and the second reason I could see it happening is that perhaps many people had tried to get uh, refunds on their tickets and anything like that. And so she probably, her team was like, okay, listen, everybody seems to want to have a refund. So let's just go ahead and cancel this and then, you know, deal with the insurance and the payouts and everything like that. So, um, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to click, I tried to click through the ticket master. It opened in another tab, but let me, um, share this screen with you guys. It takes a really long time for it to load. Ticketmaster, I don't know why they have like the monopoly on these like things like selling tickets and whatnot, but geez, like their website is not it. Didn't they just have like another controversy with Taylor Swift here in Europe? Like they were trying to sell her tickets and then like the website shut down. People weren't able to log into their uh, accounts and whatnot. And now they had to kind of suspend the sales for the Taylor Swift European leg of her tour a mess. By the way, why wasn't, why weren't her European tickets sold before the tour started? Why are they selling it now? Cause Beyonce, she had all the legs right on sale and sold out pretty much immediately when she put it out there back in the day. Like when was she putting this stuff out? Like in December, right? Anyway, so here's a ticket master for her tour that was supposed to be in two days on Thursday, July 13th in Boise, Idaho. It says event canceled. Unfortunately, the event organizer has had to cancel your event. No action is required to obtain a refund. It will be processed to the original method of payment used at time of purchase once funds are received from the event organizer, which is usually completed within 30 days. If the event organizer is offering a credit option, it will be visible within the event details of your order, which can be found in your Ticketmaster account. Please note, if the tickets were transferred to you, the refund will go to the fan who originally purchased the tickets from... <gasps> Dude, imagine you buy these secondhand. So for example, here in France, uh, we've got... We don't have like a seat geek. We Ours is called Feston Billet. So imagine I go and purchase tickets to this show on Feston Billet. It gets canceled. I would not be reimbursed the person who sold them to me and initially bought them and then transferred them to me 
would be reimbursed in my place. Wow, like that would suck. So hopefully none of you guys try to buy her tickets that way. Um, now let me show you another screen. So remember, I did click two dates to see like what shows up and happens when you try to um, get tickets for Colleen's show. Um, so for the second date, I believe this one was scheduled for August. I'm gonna have to pull it up here just to um, share it with you all. Um, you get a kind of, this one wasn't sold via Ticketmaster. This was sold through like the local theater website. The theater is called the Sheldon. And so on their website, it says canceled Miranda Sings featuring Colleen Ballinger. You know, I'm having a hard time remembering to pronounce her name as Colleen because it's not common to me. Typically when I see this name, it's pronounced Colleen, especially, you know, most notably Colleen from Love is Blind season four. I remember a big reason she said that she had the ick with Cole was because he would try to forcefully pronounce her name similar to his, right? So he's like, oh, I'm Cole, you're Colleen. Like, that's such a cool, like, you know, that our, as a couple or whatever, we have like the same name. So anyway, here it is. Canceled, Miranda Sings featuring Colleen Ballinger. Bump, 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 canceled, canceled, canceled. The tickets were $20 for aisle seats, 35 for the balcony, 45 for the orchestra, um, and $90 for VIP, which I believe includes uh, meeting Colleen or Miranda Sings or whoever she wants to present herself to you as in that given moment. Um, what is going on here? You know, I, I do think that parents should be a little bit more careful and uh, watchful of what they're presenting to their children at the end of the day. Because when you go back and look at her content, you're like, whoa, like, are people not supervising anymore? Like, what the heck was going on here? You know what I mean? Like, there's just so many things that are like cause for pause with her and her content. All it takes is just giving it a little bit of a look, you know, especially when your kids are like, what, eight, nine years old or something like that. Like, just give it a little bit of a look. Anyway, um, let's go back to what might have caused all of this stuff to be canceled. Colleen, she put out like one of the most insane, just like jarring apology videos of all time uh, last week, I want to say. And it was just her sitting around in her living room playing the ukulele and claiming that people were just being dramatic. They were on a toxic gossip train when it came to calling her out for her disturbing behavior, alleged disturbing behavior with minors over the years. And that really set people off and said, you know what? Like at this point, you are disrespecting the people who used to love and trust you. You could have just taken accountability. You could have just apologized like a normal person, but instead you try to flip things with this quirky song and turn yourself into the victim and act like anybody who calls you out for your behavior is toxic and a gossip. And um, I guess that was the final nail in the coffin for her YouTube career. Now, at this point, I don't know what's going to happen moving forward for her. It's going to be hard to get back on YouTube, I believe, right? I think she needs to take a little bit of a break. Maybe she'll come back with a proper apology this time. I'm not sure, but I do think that that is probably what she'll try to do. But I do think she'll be back. She's been doing this for a long time and she's always going to have people who love and follow her um, no matter what, right? And everybody has those people, even Donald Trump, right? But he once said, I can go on the corner of this street and that street shoot somebody and I'll still have hardcore supporters. And I think that that's true of like very famous, very, you know, big characters. And Colleen has a, a, a combined following of what, like 40 million between all of her YouTube accounts and whatnot. She's got a lot. So I do see her still being able to continue to make money, maybe not through tours, but merchandise sales, maybe leaning into this bad girl character. Remember, she and Trisha Paytas just started a podcast together and it just got canceled after Trisha spoke out against her and the nasty things that she was allegedly doing behind Trisha's backs and this, so just sending her intimate uh, nude OnlyFans content to minors. Um, but in speaking of Trisha, why don't we get into Trisha? Trisha is somebody that should have been canceled how many years ago? How many times? Like she's been doing horrible things over several years and she's still here, right? Shane Dawson, another one horrible things over several years and he's still here. Um, so I, for that reason, I do think that Colleen will be able to make a comeback and um, make a living for her people. There was another YouTuber. He's not as big as these people, like in the millions, but he still is like a pretty big size channel. Murad Morelli, I think it is. Like he's into Love Island and whatnot. And uh, it came out that he had this secret like fetish page or whatever, where he would like racially abuse people or whatever for money. 
Um, that had him canceled for a while, but he like snuck his way back into making videos, right? On YouTube and whatnot. And people just like, you know, moved on, right? Like they don't bring it up anymore or anything like that. Or if they do, maybe he's got the comments filtered out. I'm not sure. But the point is that he's still able to continue and make like a good amount of viewership. You know, Shane Dawson, same thing. Trisha Paytas, like she's in huge viewership. She's got podcasts left and right, even though she's done and said a whole lot of horrific things, right? Anyway, food for thought. Let me know. What do you think is going to happen with Colleen and Miranda Sings moving forward? Is she going to retire Miranda Sings, right? I think that maybe that could be progress for her to say, you know what? I recognize that you guys don't have trust in me when it comes to a children's character anymore. Even if she's PG-13, 13 is still a child, right? So I am going to stop making this content. I will go back through all of my past videos, delete any that are inappropriate, uh, and just stick to my Colleen character. And I will be making content for adults exclusively, not adult content but content for grown folks, right? Another example of someone um, who still has a following despite being awful is, what's his name? The, he's balding and he got arrested in Romania for human trafficking. What's his name? Uh, and I had it, is it Andrew, Anthony? It starts with an A or something like that. But yes, that's the guy, like, you know, it happens. So I, I, I don't think that this is the end for her. I think she'll continue making content on YouTube, but she'll get rid of Miranda Sings and then move forward as Colleen Ballinger. Let me know what you think, you guys. And as usual, thanks for watching. Take care.